Nigeria joins the rest of the world to observe the 2022 United Nations International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Drug Trafficking. The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, in Kwara State says it has arrested 38 suspects involved in drug-related crimes in the last two months. The state commander of the anti-narcotic agency, Ibrahim Saidu, disclosed this to newsmen in Ilon, the Kwara State capital, where he also expressed concerns over increasing youth involvement in drug-related offenses. Speaking at an event to commemorate this year's United Nations International Day against drug abuse and illicit drug trafficking with the theme Addressing Health Challenges in Health and Humanitarian Crisis, the Kwara State Commander of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Ibrahim Saidu, said the increasing rate of abuse of drugs by youths in the country remain quite disturbing. Since my adoption of office as the State Commander, Kwara State Command, Less than two months ago, the command made the arrest of 38 suspects, mostly youths, with estimate of 53.33 kilograms of assorted illicit drugs and psychotropic substances. We had four convictions. It should be noted that the above numbers are rather high for a month documentation. This shows the level at which drug is abused and the, up, and the untold effect it will have on the head of our youth in Kwara State. Guest speaker at the event, Dauda Suleiman, noted that drug abuse remains a major challenge to public health, saying that over 6 million Nigerians have developed substance use disorder against 2.8 million recorded five years ago. Presently, more than 6 million people are having substance use disorder as against 2.8 million people about five years ago. So we, and it was observed that the effect of COVID-19 and humanitarian crisis that we are having in the country contributed a lot to this. The message is mainly to the youth, students, to stay away from drugs. Uh, there's nothing good that comes out of taking drugs. The committee need more funds and resources to enable it to carry out its mandate to all the stakeholders across the nooks and the crannies of the state. Ending drug abuse, according to the NDLEA, requires inclusive approach by all stakeholders, including governments at all levels.